Hey, welcome back to Roscoe Reviews. Most everybody has blinds that look like this. If you have children or pets, you probably have blinds that look like this. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to pull the slat off of the bottom of here and move it up to where you have a broken slat so that you don't have to replace the entire set of blinds. First of all, to see if this method will work for you, you need to extend the blinds out as far as they will go and make sure that you have some extra left at the bottom. On these, I've got an extra dozen slats or so that go down below the window, so it's not gonna be a problem for me to remove the bottom one and pull it up here to replace this broken one. If when your blinds are fully extended, they only come just to the bottom of the window and you don't have any extra slats, then this method may not work for you. First step to replace the slat is to extend the blinds out all the way, so we're gonna drop them down as far as they'll go. This method works for both corded and cordless blinds. There is an extra step for the cordless blinds, which I'll show you right now. If you're doing this with cordless blinds, then the middle string gets retracted back up into the top valence piece. So in order to prevent that, we're gonna untie the string from the bottom. So to prevent it from being sucked up into the top, you need to put a clamp on it. And you can use a clothespin. I've got a nice little A clamp here. Something that's strong enough to hold on to that string so that it doesn't get pulled back up into the top. So you just clamp this on up here so that it, the string won't get pulled back into the valence. And you're gonna to wanna to do that, put the clamp on there on both sides because both strings may operate independently. And if you just clamp the one side, it could suck the other one up in there. Once they're up in there, it's a real pain to get them back out. Next, we're gonna pop these little plugs out of the bottom. I'm using a screwdriver. You may be able to grab them with your fingers or a pair of pliers also works. Go ahead and pop those plugs out. And then we're gonna pull the strings out from inside. You may need a pair of pliers or something to get a hold of it. There, get mine pulled out. That middle string has a knot in it. Now remember, if you have cord the splines, before you untie these knots, you'll need to clamp them on the top. So make sure that this isn't being retracted back up on its own before you untie this knot. So then we're going to untie these on both sides. I have both my strings untied now. I like to do this one side at a time. So since my blind is already broken off of this right side, I'm gonna do the left side so that I can remove it. You need to pull the string, that middle string that raises the blind, you gotta pull it all the way out up to where this blind is to release it. I do these one side at a time because if you do both sides at the same time, the, the rest of these slats down here can fall out. So if you just do one side at a time, then they'll stay in there. Now we need, we've got our old slat out, the broken one is out. We need to take the bottom one off. So to remove the bottom slat, I gotta pull that second string up just to that last slat. So I pulled the string out up to that last one and I can slide that last slat out. And then I'm gonna replace it where the broken one was Now that string on the left that I've already pulled all the way out, I've got to feed it back down through the holes on all of the slats to the bottom. That right side, I still have the string in there, so it's still holding all these in place. Once I've got the left side strung down through there, I can do the right side, pull it up through all of them and put it down. As you're feeding the string down through here, make sure you keep all the slats facing the right way so that the curve part is toward the top. That's another reason why it's nice to leave that first string in there until you get the one side completely done. I've now fed the string down through all of the slats so I can stick it back into the bottom piece. Just feed it back through that hole and then you gotta get it to come out the bottom. It can be a little tricky to get it all the way through there. And then now, before I do my other side, I'm gonna go ahead and tie this one off. So just put a couple of knots in there so that it can't pull back up through this hole. 
It doesn't have to be pretty, just a couple of overhand knots to be fine. You want to try to get it about where the, the knot was before, so that's right about where it was. If it's not exactly right, then you can adjust it with the strings up top because these strings pull individually. So I put a couple knots in there so it can't pull back through the hole. And at this point, you can go ahead and put the plug back in it if you like. So to put the plug back in, you stuff some of the string from the sides in there and the string from the middle. And then we'll shove the plug back in on top of the strings and that holds them all in there. Okay, now we can do the other side. So I've already got it untied and it's ready to go. So I've got to pull it back up out of there all the way back to the one that I replaced. Okay, I pulled it all the way out. Now I'm gonna thread this one back down and tie it off down here again. Fed the second side all the way down through there. Now I'm gonna tie it off at the bottom by sticking it through the hole in the bottom piece. Again, we'll put the second plug back in there. Just stuff some of the string back in there. And stick the plug in. You'll notice when you drop this down all the way that there's a gap where we remove this slat. If you want to fix that, you can pull this bottom piece out and slide it in where that slat was and then cut off the excess string on the bottom. To me, it's not entirely necessary because as soon as we pull the strings from the top, it pulls that bottom part right up there like that. So now you don't even know. And since my window sill is about a foot up from the bottom, when I pull it up to the window, now you're really not gonna know. That's how you repair a set of blinds with a broken slat by just moving the slat up from the bottom up to the top. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you back here next time.